guys and welcome to my March haul. Let's get straight on into it. The first thing is from Topshop, somewhere I haven't been in a really long time, but I popped in at a lunchtime looking for a friend. Then I saw this on a mannequin with a denim jacket and I was instantly sold. This is a really nice colour, I really love the style of it. The material is really different I think to how it looks. It looks like it would be a quite a soft stretchy material. This is actually quite a firm very non-stretch material so I find it quite difficult to get in and out of this. I saw in the reviews people saying to maybe size up but then if I sized up it wouldn't fit in areas like the waist. So in a previous haul I featured the other dies I got and then I got the turquoise one so if you see me with my extensions you'd have seen I had the ends in this I mixed it down with conditioner and just popped it in the end so it was a little bit more pastel. I just picked it up in either Boots or Superdrug, can't remember, but they're quite inexpensive really. They're usually on offer as well and they are lots of colours. Hmm. It must have been in Boots because I remember being in there and I got this lovely smoothie by Soap and Glory and when I was in Boots as well I think some of you guys were in there because you tweeted me afterwards saying that you saw me. If you do see me please come say hi because I'd love to meet you guys and when I see you on Twitter being like oh I saw you but I didn't say hi I feel like I've kind of missed out so please do say hi if you see me. This is a repurchase and I love the smell. This is the Breakfast Scrub Smoothie by Soap and Glory. This has banana, almond and honey extracts, also oat, sugar and shea. Mmm, I just want to eat it. This is so good to just scrub off the day and then I usually follow up with one of Soap and Glory's body washes as well. Combined, they are amazing. The makeup repurchase is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I think this is my favourite mascara of all time, followed by Benefit Roller Lash and a Lamasco mascara I've been using recently, but this just, just beats them. I just love the packaging of this, this is really weighty and the formula is really good, although when you first get it, it feels a little bit bit too wet. I've had a few people say this as well on Instagram but stick with it when it kind of dries out as you use it the air gets in there and then it just is amazing. I kind of love it when it's on its last legs. It's just really fans out the lashes, makes them really pretty, gives volume and length and they're the bits I really want in a mascara. And I got the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Pressed Powder. If you watched my chatty first impressions video you'd have seen this in that. I need to use this with my normal foundation to see if it really does prolong the makeup more than my normal powder I use. American Apparel had the sale continued. <laughs> I keep getting so much stuff but I do really like American Apparel and when it's 70% off like you have to get more stuff. Let's start off with disco pants. I think in my last video I was like I think I've got all the colours. I don't need more colours. Um, I bought three more pairs. Two I got really recently. I um, put one of you guys in there. So hi. That was really sweet. You were like, are you Leanne? And I'm like, yeah. And then she said she watched all my videos, which is amazing. So thank you very much. You are beautiful, by the way. And this is beautiful peacock colour. And these fits a lot smaller than all the other colours, which I don't really understand. I always say size down, but... I tried that and these, I tried yanking them. I got them up my legs and then I couldn't get my butt in. So I had to get my normal size on these and they felt as snug as sizing down. So I don't really know why, but these did run a lot smaller. Then got this amazing blue color and for this and the other pair I did size down as normal and they fit perfectly. Lots of you have requested a lookbook of how I style disco pants. I think I will do that perhaps when it gets a bit warmer. I don't think I'll style every pair. I believe I have nine pairs now and I don't think I can really do nine outfits because when I wear disco pants guys I wear them with crop tops and you can wear them with like shirts like long tops but just for my proportions it just doesn't look right on me. I look better with high waisted things and crop tops. I have to think about what ones to style, maybe the more awkward ones. So I probably won't style the black ones because they're probably the easiest. Amy Valentine, when we did the company magazine shoot, she wore them and they looked freaking cool. The only thing is some of the thread has come loose on those, so they'll need to be restitched. They're amazing. 
Then I got some velvet easy jeans and I've never tried these before and they fit really really nicely. They're a lot thicker than the normal easy jeans, like the normal denim ones and they fit a lot kind of firmer so they feel more like disco pants than the easy jeans. If you've worn them I think that will make more sense and for these I did size down. They are really high waisted and they are really long so I did have to roll them. And then I got a pair in this kind of brownie burgundy colour and these were only £7 so I couldn't say no because they were £7 guys. That's just so cheap. The next items are from Sephora and again if you watch my chatty first impressions video you'll recognise these. The first one is the Tarte Primer. This is the Clean Slate Timeless Smoothing Primer Base. I'm reading all of the words. Feels quite fiddly getting the product out but it is really silky and is really nice. I need to again use this with my normal foundation to see if it is better than the other ones I've been using but I do really like Tarte products so I do have high hopes. And I got more of the foundation, although this is my old one, as you can tell it looks a little bit battered. I did buy another one and I don't know where I've put it. I didn't necessarily need to get another one, but with Sephora if you spend over, I believe, £75, then delivery is at a flat rate of £6. So I just kind of got bits I know I liked and needed in the future. Light Sand is my shade. That is my go-to daily foundation. I then got the Kat Von D Locket. Tattoo Foundation. I really want to try more of her stuff. So if you want to hear me talk about more of this foundation, then do check out my chatty first impressions video. I will link that below. And another makeup repurchase is the Kat Von D liner and I did really like it so I did repurchase. So my friend has a clothing line, Blakely Clothing. I've shot their stuff before and I've shown some of the stuff in hauls and he has a new collection and the stuff is really really nice. He's done crop tops which I'm really happy about obviously because I basically live in crop tops. This is a pattern that he recently did and then wanted it inside out which I really like as well because it's a really more pastel subtle look. The fit of these are really really nice as well. They are true to size but as you can tell that's the print the right way around but I like how it's a lot more subtle. I couldn't decide between either of the paisleys so of course I just got both. I really like these, they hang really nicely, they're very flattering, they're not too boxy and they don't stick out too much at the bottom as well and the length of these are really good, really flattering. And for when it gets a bit colder but it's still a crop top, let's have a cropped sweater. Then there's two necklaces from the Serpents Club, it's a choker with a crystal on the bottom and I like how it just slips on and looks very sleek. And the second one is this gorgeous layered necklace. Again, it's crystals and I really love how raw these ones look as well. I kind of prefer the look of these crystals. So I finally got myself some Charlotte Tilbury makeup. I blame Hey Claire and Lily Melrose for these purchases. This first lipstick, oh, look at that packaging. It is so pretty. And this is the Glastonbury lipstick and it's a very beautiful, rich lip color. I did struggle a little bit when applying it because the shape of the bullet is not the kind of classic shape, it is a lot more rectangular square and I have a very wonky mouth so this took me a lot longer to use but it's a really nice formula and they are matte but they are kind of a more creamy consistency, last really really well, really beautiful, colour payoff, very pigmented so highly recommend this and then I got this the film star bronze and glow set and again the packaging is just to die for and inside we have the sculpt and highlight and I'm wearing it today since I've got it I have worn it every day and it's just a very beautiful color and the last items is a load of stuff that I got to take with me when I went to Dubai with Boohoo I did post a picture on Instagram and a few of you were like oh please so as you requested I thought I would share them with you so I got some sunglasses I don't know if they really all fully suit me but I got them. I don't really know if I'm a very sunglasses face kind of person. I quite like these ones. But then also I never know how far to wear them down your nose as well. That might sound really weird. I then got this tassel bag. So it's a little pocket at the front. 
a zip pocket inside, two pouches for phones and that kind of stuff and there's lots of space inside. I used this the most when I was in Dubai, it was just really easy and just by my side. It is quite small though and it has nice gold hardware. Inside it has a zip compartment in the middle, space either side and another zip compartment at the back as a normal. So that bag was part of one of my favourite outfits out of the five and also I got more sunglasses. So these I feel suit me more because they are cool and round and I just love the colour to the lenses as well. I just love this play suit. The only thing is it kept creeping down, I had to kind of keep pulling it up but it's a really nice length, really, really floaty. I like that it looks like a dress, but it is a play suit. I really love really long necklaces and I love the detail of the hands hand. This kimono is amazing. I love the back because it has layers of fringing. I like that the sleeves are fitted as well, so it fits really, really nicely. It doesn't kind of fall off or anything. And the last thing of that outfit were these peep toe boots, which have been a bit squished from being in the suitcase. These are good because you can slip them on. There is elastic at the buckles. I like the peep toe detail. They're not too high, really comfy, easy to walk in. Just when you first walk in them, this bit does rub the toe a little bit. More shoes. These are so filthy. I wore these two days in the desert and they are really comfy. I just got some funky tan lines on my feet. Let me know in the comments if you saw that on my Snapchat. These heels are so comfy. The slope fits the arch of my foot perfectly. They have a platform so they're really not that high at all. So if you're looking for heels, these are great. I think they're in white as well. These are cute little pointy flats, but these are different to my other ones because they're more sandily. They have a strap detail and I love the hardware detail around the heel. I got shorts and these are so high-waisted. Forever me saying, nothing's high-waisted on me. These sit above the belly button, but then I kind of feel like they always sat too high. I can't win here, guys. They sat so high that they went past the smallest part of my waist so it kind of just skimmed it. I don't feel it's as flattering as if it hit the waist or was slightly lower but I really love the colour of these and I like that they're not too short as well so no no bum flashing. Just a nice simple crop top you can't go wrong with that with shorts perfect. And this kimono I loved. I wore this loads but it's quite odd it does slip off your shoulders really easily but I love the pattern of this it's a really really pretty elephant and I put this on to keep the sun off me so I did wear this with a striped dress like really clashing prints but for the actual outfit it was to go with the white crop top and the shorts. I think I have a thing for stripes. I'm wearing stripes. I've shown stripes and I'm showing more stripes. This dress is so flattering. I'm really impressed with the sizing at Boohoo. So this is a turtleneck dress. It's kind of a crepe material and it's stripy and it fits beautifully. I like how it has shape to it. So it does go in at the waist and it is very flattering and the length is good too. It's not too short. I then got some white jeans and these have rips at the knees. I got them in the petite range so I don't have to roll jeans up. Hallelujah. It is really short so I guess that is why it's called a bralette on the website but what I did is I paired this little top with this maxi skirt. They do also do these in petite though but I think it was either low, low in stock or out of stock so I didn't want to risk it so I just got it in normal length so it does kind of drag on the floor. And last but not least is, oh look, it's stripes. For the white jeans I already had a boohoo sleeveless crop top which I just wore instead. So initially I did have this to go with the jeans but I felt the other top kind of went better so I wore this as pyjamas. Nice, loose material. So those were all my items. Stay tuned on my second channel, on my vlog channel, because this month I'll post my video of the behind the scenes of Bohu's TV ad, which will be out this month as well. So I'll upload it as it goes live. And that was just amazing. So thank you Bohu for having me. I hope you like all these items. Let me know your favourites below. Please comment, like and subscribe and thank you for watching. So I am finding it a little bit harder to sort the old Cupid's bow. This colour is lovely. Ooh, this look is good. I like this look. It's really easy to apply, it really glides on the lips, it feels really smooth. And 
it's really highly pigmented which is really good 